first time I heard about the Bicycle Film Festival last year, I think I was just scrolling through Facebook. I wrote an email to the director of the festival and I said, hello, I'm coming from Richmond, Virginia. I would love to help out with your festival. Um, I'll be here the whole time, just let me know. It's displaying the hard work that cyclists and filmmakers, creators uh, have put in to advance their own cycling, but also to advance the community. The Bicycle Film Festival is an arts and cultural event and it came out of Brett Barber's accident in 2001 when he was hit by a bus while riding his bike. He thought that using media and using arts and using music to connect people to cycling, because I think that we are all, we have more of an emotional connection to stories um, than you know, other forms of activism. I do see that this is a form of activism. Biking to me is a mode of resiliency for neighborhoods. Hurricane Sandy, when suddenly all the cities shut down and everyone's like, I guess I need to ride my bike to get from place to place. And then people did and were amazed. And they're like, oh, it's wonderful and it's easy and the whole city is so small, it's just mine. I can go wherever I want. Everything that happens on a bike, they can understand, they can change, they can control, they can fix. There's not a lot of problems in your life that you can fix all of with your own hands. I think it's less than 5% of New York actually rides a bike. And the way you're treated as a cyclist, um, especially when I'm riding a bike in New York, I feel like my life is in danger. I have to really protect myself against cars. I feel like the cars are out to get me. We're trying to bring everyone together, and this is the perfect event to do that. You have the people that are, they, they go on their commutes, but then you have their bike messengers that they do that for a living. But then you also have those people that like at the end of the weekend, they actually race and they, they do amazing things in Central Park and Prospect Park and things like that. So it's a, it's a culmination of everyone that in one place at the same time, which is absolutely amazing. have been intrigued by just long distance track cycling. I've done a couple of ridiculous like 200 mile rides on my track bike recently. You know, I'm going to New York. I might as well bike there. Uh, so I did. Uh, it took me about three days. It was a bit over 400 miles on the way here. I did Richmond to DC and then I did DC to Philadelphia and Philadelphia to here. Um, and I rode it on my bike just like this, but with a lot more bags attached to it. Ride what you got, they say. I'm Evan Holm, the director of the film The Impossible Ride, which uh, documented Denise's... Denise Karenik, the, the cyclist. Yep, uh, Denise's world record uh, last year out on the Bonneville South Flats. So the <laughs> paced bicycle land speed record, the fastest cyclist in the world right here. 183.9 miles an hour. Someone actually did the math recently and said, you realize that you went from one end of a football field to the other end of a football field in one second. That's the beauty of the Bicycle Film Festival is it really showcases the amazing things that you can do on a bicycle. And ours is about speed, and then there's others about endurance and you know the human condition and being able to do that. It's just fascinating because it goes beyond the bike. The bike is sort of the tool that's everything. It's like the cog in the wheel. Yes. <laughs>
The film industry and cycling industry are both two very male-dominated industries, so it really says a lot that there are there's a lot of female female-fronted stories and female directors involved in the festival. Ah, great. Yes, you're here, you're back. I grew up in foster care. I had many years of homelessness, so I was living on the streets. Um, and having a bike enabled me to get to school, to have education, to work my first job. You know, cycling is inherently dangerous, but it really has provided me community and a family, um, and a whole hell of a lot of exploration and adventure. Um, and a lot of it is on this bike. <laughs> uh, this very same bike, and I, I put it through a lot publicly. 